Hi, welcome back to Hit at Home, where you can join me in my search for the most effective, high-intensity exercises that you can do at home. Today, we will be completing Ariane Meyer's two-part modified version of Mike Menser's Ideal Hit Routine. For further research, you can find Menser's Ideal Program described in detail in the book High Intensity Training, The Mike Menser Way, Chapter 13, The Ideal Principled Workout. The difference in Meyer's program is that he adapted Menser from four workouts into two. Menser broke up his exercises into chest and back, legs and abs, shoulders and arms, and then workout four is legs and abs again. So really it's just three workouts, one of them being done twice uh, before the circuit is redone. Ariane just combined them into two because he can only work out once a week and Menser's protocols consist of only four to five exercises at a time. Ariane performs a workout of six to eight exercises and then rests six to seven days or about a week and then works out again. Menser himself recommended four to seven days rest. Recovery ability is not universal and will change from person to person. Four days seems to work well for me, uh, if I can fit them in that is. That's when I start to see real progress. However, like Ariane, I work long hours during the week, and the weekend is really the only time I have the energy to get in a good workout. And since we do high intensity, I'm only going to do one workout on the weekend. And it's usually Saturday for me. So after my morning meal, I try to make my workout the first priority of the day when my energy and motivation are at their peak. Ariane is incorporating the most useful techniques of high intensity training, such as pre-exhaustion and rest pause. Mike Menser himself continued Arthur Jones' experiments, but focused on bodybuilding, whereas Jones was more focused on overall health and fitness. Jones was the one who first popularized the pre-exhaustion technique. Leg extension followed by a leg press was a favorite of his. He even designed some Nautilus machines that they don't make anymore uh, with a dual function so that one could minimize the time between exercises. These two exercises together are also known as a superset. So the first exercise in this program is the pec deck. You could also do dumbbell flies to achieve this isolation of the pectoral muscles. This is what I'm working with on my body solid cable machine. For some reason the handles rotate. Maybe they thought this would accommodate different arm lengths. I'm not sure, but it makes it a little bit more awkward to do the exercise. I have really been enjoying using the rest pause technique lately. It requires less work because you don't have to adjust the weights and it gives you a few seconds to catch your breath. Doing an isolation exercise on the pec deck first and then doing the bench press really tore me up. So now I'm going to continue to use pre-exhaustion supersets in every workout. Regarding the number of reps, Menser recommended 6 to 10 for most exercises. For dips, it will of course uh, vary depending on your own body weight. And for ab and leg work, Menser recommended a weight that will actually allow a little bit more, 12 to 20 reps. I'm used to doing tricep pushdowns for arms, but don't usually use this part of the machine for back. I usually do cable rows. But I really liked this straight arm version of a pull down a lot, and I don't even have to sit on the floor to do it. This is an isolation movement for the lats, and is the first part of another superset. It doesn't involve the biceps at all, unlike the palm up pull downs that I'll be doing next. So once again, we're going to pre-exhaust the lats in isolation movement followed by a compound movement. I recommend watching Arion's videos if you want to uh, try this because unlike me, he has perfect form. But I'm getting better the more I do these exercises. 
Um, because I'm only doing one set to failure, I can really concentrate on the movement without getting bored. We want to do palms up rather than palms down uh, to put the biceps at their strongest position. The stronger your biceps are, the closer you can bring your lats to failure. You also want your hands to be closer together rather than further apart to fully stretch the lats. This is true of a bench press as well. It may seem more logical to keep the arms widely spread, but the opposite is actually true. So the next exercise is the deadlift. Ariane says that it's an exercise that you have to learn to love. In other words, it's an acquired taste. It's a taste I have not yet learned to love. Uh, it works more muscles than any other exercise, but I'm just not a fan of bending over like this. I'm always afraid that I'm going to injure myself. It also requires a lot of space, and that means I'd have to take all the weights off my bench press bar to get it on the floor. So in order to save time, I'm going to be doing a cable deadlift instead. It's probably not as efficient as a barbell uh, in that the resistance is coming from the middle of the bar rather than at each end, but it, it is an acceptable way to do the exercise. And this is just an, not an exercise I like personally, so I probably will not keep it in my regular routine. Uh, I don't like squats either, so thankfully there is a leg press that can basically accomplish the same thing. But Menser did believe that the deadlift was the most intense and rewarding exercise one can do, so I think I will perform them occasionally from time to time. And then Ariane does an optional set of leg presses, which we also did in part one of this um, Menser routine. The reason for this is because Menser would do his leg and ab workout twice, with his chest and back and shoulders and arm workouts being done only once. So in order, he would do chest and back, rest four to seven days, then do legs and abs, rest again, and then do his shoulders and arms workout, rest again four to seven days, and then he'd do the leg workout again before resting four to seven days and starting over with the chest and back workout. So clearly he thought that the legs could take more because they are the largest muscles. This modified menstrual routine may only consist of six exercises, but because of the supersets, it was very intense and will trigger muscle growth as much as spending hours doing volume reps. What Menser considered to be an ideal routine is one that will induce maximum possible growth stimulation and use up a minimum of the body's recuperative capacity. High intensity training is required to meet that standard. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, when learning new exercises, it's important to take a little time and make sure you are doing them correctly. Even though supersets should be done quickly, you'll get faster as you become more comfortable with the movements. All right, thanks again, bye.